Hi guys, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Let's take a look at this question came in from one of our own here, Mr. Beecher, Brian Beecher asks, will our society <clears throat> continue to be bad at handling disagreements? Is it even possible for us to find enough common ground to maintain peace? So let's take a look at our society. So will we, um, you know, it's pretty divided. We, we've become even more divisive in our reactions to each other. I think he's got a good point there. Good reason for the question, Brian, right? So let's take a look um, at what's going on. And will this continue? Pink says no. It's interesting. Good. It's a good thing to hear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So two of swords is the signifier. That makes sense. Ah. Okay. So. Um. Two of Swords is the signifier. We're at a crossroads, definitely, in how we handle our disagreements. A lot of folks are just walking away and they want to chart a new course. But we're um, bathing in a whole new course of action in our emotions in this ace. Oh, and the ace is flanked by eights. Walking away, uh, taking a new course of action with a higher purpose. Oh, that's lovely. I love that eight. Yeah, I mean, we, a lot of folks are wanting it. I think on both sides, you know. I mean, like, I got this comment here from this Michelle Kelly. Are you for real? He has ruined this country, and his son is a criminal. Money, drugs. So that's when I did the read on Biden. And I'm not picking on Michelle. Hi, Michelle. If you're out there, I doubt she's watching. <laughs> but, you know, usually those kinds of comments are really nasty, like, um, you know really mean, horrible stuff, but that's, that's all right. You know, am I for real? Um, you know, here, this woman, she believes that Biden has ruined our country and that his son is a criminal and, you know, was taking money and he does drugs, obviously. And, oh my gosh, Biden is the worst. Um, and, and my family is like this. Like, they believe this stuff. They believe that Biden has just ruined stuff. They believe that Democrats have ruined everything for Americans. So um, it is really divisive. But I think even on both sides, we want, we want a new emotion. We want to sit in the, the ace. We want something new around it and be doing handstands in the sun. Um, so let's see, what will it take? Show me what will it take to get there? What will it take for us to get there? <laughs> Pink says grace. Lots and lots of grace. You know what that means, you guys? Grace like in a spiritual sense, just understanding patience, getting out of your own way to let another way in. Interesting. So what will it, give me a story. What will it take? Here it is. Okay. Hmm. Self-reflection. 
and being adult. Oh, and once again, the Ace of Cups sitting in the Ace and the sun is in our future. So it's about being reflective, really being reflective, taking some time on your own, but to look at the whole picture and be an adult about it in the emperor. Be a grown up. Get outside of your emotions and be a nasty. Maybe take a look at why you feel the way you feel. Where have these paradigms come from that you believe in? You know, I know where my beliefs have kind of resided. It was how I was raised. I was raised by parents who were quite open and I was encouraged to think and evolve and develop in my beliefs. And I met people throughout my lifetime where it, it was really encouraged and supported that you understand and be respectful of where everyone sits. So even Michelle Kelly, who, you know, wants to know if I am for real. I mean, in her reality, I mean, Biden is the devil. Democrats are the devil, right? That we are communists and we are, you know, I mean, we are and Nazis. I don't know how you could be a communist. Well, I guess. But, um, yeah, so it's going to take being reflective, being an adult about it, getting outside of yourself. And sitting in this new energy, all of these, it's interesting how they all have people in them, these, these pictures. And let the sun shine in. I mean, I really try to, you know, I love my ex. <laughs> I do. He's like my brother. <laughs> But he is such a Trump supporter. But he's my friend. We have a son together. We were a family. We are still a family. I really try to understand him. You know, I just look at him. Like, how is that possible, Michael? <laughs> but it's just love, guys. It's love. Also, you know, I'm pretty spiritual. I like to step back and look at why people do what they do and what this energy is in our spirits. Why do our souls do this? You know, so once again, I know you get some of you hate hearing this, but in order to have the light, we need the dark. We need that energy to be reflected back to us in order for us to grow. I see politics as it's just kind of this thing. It's this ball that keeps us balanced in a way. It keeps us constantly looking and examining our behavior. I don't get attached to it. Um, I mean, certain things I can get upset, like I'm upset, you know, about um, the squelching of our civil rights in this country, this thing that's going on. But, you know, it's because we didn't fight, right? We didn't keep that energy up. Our kids don't understand, like my daughter, her friends, they don't understand how important it is, right? That's about democracy, uh, then that woman asked, was it Ben Franklin? Who was it? Shoot. When they established our government and said, did you create a republic for us? And the guy said, yes, if you can keep it. So that's how we keep it. We can't just, we just can't sit on the sidelines and just stay in our homes and not get out there and keep that energy up doesn't mean we have to fight we just you 
grace and understanding, Brian. Getting out of your own way. That's what Pink just said. Get out of your own way. <laughs> that is um, what we can do. I think this is just my thought. Is it even possible for us to find enough common ground to maintain peace? I think it needs to be a choice. You know, do you want to understand the other point of view? Do you want peace? I want peace. I want my family, my son and my ex and my daughter, you know, for us to spend holidays together because I love them. I don't agree with them, some of them in their but I want that. I want that love, you know. Um, so it's a choice. It's a choice on my part that I make to love them and to hear them out. There was a time where we just didn't talk about politics, right? Remember? It was just like, it was a thing. Don't talk about politics at the dinner table. Just don't talk about it. Politics was your personal, it was your right to keep it private and to just vote the way you vote. And um, But it was expected that we would live in civility. Really good, Brian. You always have great questions. Good thinking questions. So is it possible? Of course it's possible. Everything is possible here. What is possible that I have not considered? What is possible that I have never considered? It's possible. All right, guys. I love you. I love the question. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next time.